Okay, I just wanted to make a video about this particular sow. I made this one on December 14th, 2011. Um, I just want to make a video about it. is it corroding or is it not corroding and what's going on. So I pulled back a little bit of film. Actually, this one right here is the same. It's just a miniature version of the 5 foot crystal cell. As you can see, it's still powering that LCD clock just fine. But um, it's the same version. I just this is more or less a test sample to see that it works. Uh, I pulled back some of the um, plastic wrapping, the electrical tape, to see if it was any corrosion. And as you can see, there's no corrosion developing on it. I can pull it back even more. You can see the there's no corrosion on the second layer. And the electrolyte is this notebook paper right there. It has the Epsom salt and salt substitute mixed into it, and it was allowed to dry. Then the magnesium was put on, and this is a copper tube. And if you guys can see underneath it, but it's still shiny, so it's not it's not necessarily corroding at all. So yeah, uh, that's uh, very interesting to see that. Do you apply the electrodes? When your electrolyte is dry, you don't run the risk of it corroding. It's still shiny. It's not flaking off. And as many of you would know, that magnesium ribbon corrodes very, very easily. I mean, very, very easily. But since there's no presence of water, or I'm not adding constant water to it, it's not corroding. But I still get voltage and power from the cell. Um, but yeah, I thought that was very interesting. Uh, just wanted to point that out that. There's no real corrosion happening on this particular one right here in my head. And it's the exact same makeup as the 5 foot tall one that powers that LCD clock. It's been powering for several months now. So yeah, I thought that would be interesting to see. I'm going to seal this thing back up and have it continue to do what it's doing.